The story of the Radium Girls holds an important place as it was the biggest progressor of the labour rights movement in history. The right of individual workers to sue for damages from corporations due to labour abuse was established as a result of the Radium Girls case. Between 1917 and 1926, US Radium Corporation was engaged in the extraction and purification of radium from carnitite ore to produce luminous paints which were marketed under the brand name Undark. The company was a major supplier of radioluminescent watches to the military and their plant employed over 100 workers, mostly women. The women painstakingly hand-painted thousands of watch dials with a fine brush. They would point their brushes on their lips to give them a fine tip as they were told that the radium was completely harmless. They would even mess about with the paint and used to paint their nails and even their teeth for a laugh, completely unaware that what they were swallowing was actually radioactive. The girls' skin would even glow as they walked through the streets at night from all the radium dust and paint. Other companies began to create their own glow-in-the-dark paint throughout the US, employing around 4,000 workers all over the country. But it soon became apparent that the radium may not be as safe as everyone thought. Many of the women began to experience symptoms of radiation sickness, like anemia, bone fractures and necrosis of the jaw. The US Radium Corporation distributed literature to the medical community describing the injurious effects of radium. However, they still hired approximately 70 women to handle the radium, while the owners and scientists stayed well away to avoid being exposed to it themselves. Chemists at the plant used lead screens, masks and tongs while the girls used their bare hands. By 1925, not surprisingly, a number of deaths had occurred including the company's chief chemist and several female workers. The similar circumstances of their deaths prompted investigations to be undertaken by Dr. Harrison Martland, county physician of Network. His study confirmed that the minute traces of radioactivity contained in the luminous paint were the cause of death for many watchdial painters. Women in New Jersey challenged their employer in a case over the right of individual workers who contract occupational diseases to sue their employers under New Jersey's occupational injuries law. US Radium, however, tried to blame the girl's illness on an outbreak of syphilis, and the case didn't go to court until years later. By that time, many were very sick and even had to testify from their deathbeds. A total of five factory workers joined the suit. The litigation and media sensation surrounding the case established legal precedents and triggered the enactment of regulations governing labour safety standards, including a baseline of provable suffering. Five women in Illinois who were employees of another company also sued their employer, winning damages in 1938. Damages weren't much use to dead women though whose dead bodies are still considered to be radioactive to this day. Some of the women were even buried in lead-lined coffins. Luckily though, lessons have been learned from the Radium Girls' legacy, and thanks to those poor women who fought and won their case, legislation is now in place that benefits all of us in the work environment. <laughs>